Welcome back to Pencil Tucky Adventures, folks. Um, top of the morning to you. It's that time of year again. Bear Camp 2021. Um, I'm heading down here to Black Clouds Camp to do some morning breakfast. We got, um, he's been up all week for last week archery here, and I just came up late last night. Did some dinner with them, got stuff unloaded into the camp, so um, ate breakfast and got a lot to do today. I know I got a smile on my face, but I'd be wrong if I was telling you that it was a good smile. It's a fake smile, to tell you the truth. Um, season's going to be a little different for this year. Um, sorry, this gets me a, a little emotional, but um, lost the patriarch of my family this year. Uh, Coyote Kid unexpectedly passed away back in September from a heart attack so it's not quite the same it used to be anymore but we'll persevere he'd be kicking out walls butt and my butt if we both didn't get out there and hunt this year so it's been a struggle um, I can get a little bit more detail give you updates on the season as the video rolls on here but yeah so, anyone that's watched my videos, I hope you enjoyed seeing my father on there. He's been light of our life. Um, and he lived for hunting. So, we got to carry on his legacy. And as the Mossy Oak song goes, pass it on. We're going to do our best. Um, if you stick around for the whole video at the end, I have there's like a little six minute memorial video I put together. A collection of his hunting videos or photos. So, um, check that out there. So. Well, wish us luck this season. Thanks for tuning into the channel for this riveting season of Bear 2021. Wish us luck again. Hopefully, we can knock one back. So, I'm getting ready to pull in here for breakfast, and I'll catch y'all in a bit. That's the first thing I saw. Yeah, hey, butcher doing what he does best: cooking. Cooking up the meat. And you burn it already? I didn't burn it. You just said butcher doing what he does best. It's the fucking up the meat. <laughs> Pork sausage or deer sausage? Yeah. We only get pork sausage. I can do deer sausage. We only get pork sausage because Sam cleans all the deer sausage. Well, that's why, because she she, her deer's only big enough for one like a sausage, that's why. Nah, she, she'd rather eat that than pork sausage. Oh, let me, let me get my hat on, too. Yeah, you need that pencil. If you don't have that on video, do you? I do. <coughs> so, this is my thought. We don't have enough. We're not, I don't think we can do what we originally talked about. So we got eight. Because we only have eight. Yeah. No, we have seven. Because Birdie's got us stick close. Well, I'm figuring if we could put Tori. We take the easier route, so we put Tori and Birdie in the middle. Okay. Um. Well, we can't. So my thought was to drive it this way, because this is that gutter. Oh. And I was just thinking maybe that's just. I felt like that was like maybe a natural thing, maybe. Yeah, I I agree with you. The problem I have there is so is this. Well, no, that's so it. My this, uh, No, there's nothing there. Uh, well, that, I mean, it's not is, not that, not just the gutter or ravine or whatever. Well, my but, thought was to stick. But it, it looks like you know. Sh that stuff could just scoot right well, up. Well, I was thinking of posting someone around in here. Like doing a, a huge horseshoe. Like if they come out here and walk around. Because if they walk around, it'd push stuff back this way. And if we're set up... If you have a flanker on a trail, you don't need to put anybody up here. So you can put one guy like well, that I in here and cover this whole flat. Like that. Or most of Well, this is because it's not much of a flat right here. When you put a well, little the, bit of that gutter, they like, can see down that's, in it. That's where I was standing. But if you if you get like on this little point or down on this point, you can see it shoot 
most of that to like right here. Well, you can put someone here, and then you can put someone in here, but then have another guy out here because that is like in that there is a gutter there, and, and I kind of liked it. We'd still have enough people to because something could slip somebody. out between if someone's sitting in here, it could still slip out here. So if you have and this is a big open flat, it's wide open there. <clears throat> Not wide open, but it's that's, at least... That's a, a boulder hill, right? This is the boulder hill right here. This is where I was sitting and I dropped down off and you saw me. This is where you were sitting and this is where I called you when we called each other. Oh, okay. This is where you were sitting and I was right here. I was look, yeah, I was looking at that a little different. So so there's a cushion between the cut and the boulder Here, plant. it's not much. It's probably as wide as the cabin. Okay, just looks a little bigger than that. But here, it's like wide open. It's... Um, like, like 75 yard shot and it's no brush or anything right are we doing this one first are we doing this one tomorrow yeah we want to we want to hit these two that we're going to talk about first thing and then we're going to come yeah, back we're here switching and, it up and this do our side of the mountain like okay. i like going over to the other mountain but has it always worked out the first day? I know Eric was close to one year, but try something different this year, see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, typically you hear a shot in there and you see a lot of deer, but we never really went anywhere else opening day besides the year Nate killed his bear. We gotta try it. So, yeah. switch it up. I know Howdy folks, good evening. Um, did a little work around camp today. Didn't do any videos. Uh, blowing leaves out and then had a little bit of difficulty. I'm not a plumber by trade. And we were, um, all right, we had our water heater broke. This past archery season, so we had to get that all fixed up and switch situated. So finally took us like six hours. That sucked. I'm gonna stick to my day job, I know that much. Um, so here's our meal for tonight. Got the coarse bourbon and water, or sorry, bourbon and Pepsi. Not sure if y'all ever heard of trash can turkey before. But um got a 22 pound turkey in there, got it all seasoned up today like charcoal, put charcoal around it, put charcoal on top and it cooks the turkey inside the can. Um, put a little couple vent holes in it. But um, yeah, she cooks in there and it's basically like smoking it. Uh, so right now it's cooking. It's probably been on there for about an hour and a half. I think they said it takes about two hours. So um, we'll see how it goes. I'll insert a little video here. They took one earlier while we were working on the water heater today. So we can get that. By the way, tankless hot water heaters. Make sure you flush them out every t every year, depending upon how you use it. If you use it more than a cabin, um, flush them out every six months. So scale built up and we got a little pinhole started leaking. So that's what happened there, didn't they? You had to flush them. They never told me that. So, um, yeah, trash can turkey. Go in here, figure out the rest of the drives. You saw us discussing that earlier. Um, got a couple more to plan out. We got the first one good for the day, morning. So that's. Hoping no one else is in those spots, but the way it goes sometimes. So, go in here and catch up with a few of the guys. And then, um, I'll show you what the turkey looks like when it's ready. Thanks. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. So, you burn it. It's not burnt. That area is a little, this little, that, that area is a little, little burnt. But, ooh, baby. Beautiful. Mm. Garlic yeah, bread, yeah, got peas and done. corns, working on taters. Got the man baby over there. He's going to say the blessing tonight. Oh, well, it's got to sit for a little bit. You need anything, guys? Save all the scraps because I'm going to cook it. Okay. Got some deer bologna and beef bologna. For snacking. I have my tire. This is gonna be great. So this one we're gonna have to look at. This is all from the well, look Looking pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure. But it's it's a big fork with one little brow tine that's like an inch and a half. So it's really good. Yep. I I'd say mm -hmm. it's that smells good. Oh. Then we got this one. Which that's a seven or an eight. Yeah, meal and watching bear season from last year. 
Oh wait, Land is Man Baby's gotta say Grace. Grace. Grace in the kitchen, Grace in the hall, we got Grace going in the hall. You brought me this bus, didn't you, great grandpa? It's the same as somebody a little higher up on the spiritual food chain than me. Was it God? Higher. Was somebody higher than God? Just shoot the fuck, woman. Who was it? Just shoot the fuck. No, if it wasn't you and it wasn't God, then who was it? folks welcome to day one of bear 2021 um, we're here sitting on the first drive I got all the drivers set up um, the way we're driving this it's a little easier for the sitters or drivers get set up quicker so we let the drive sitters get out there first or wait for them to give us a radio check that they're ready and um, and that that way there's a cut in front of us here um, we moved back in 2012 and we're gonna push it sideways we had a good but a bear sign here this year so see how it goes I'm hoping I see you on the other side and got bear on the ground it'd be great first thing in the morning have one time this guy's bear that was dumb luck though walked up mount it was there so we got uh, wolf outlaws down there Needles up there, cockroaches up there, and then black clouds up on the trail. And then we got Baby Yoda, Man Baby, and Butcher out that way. So, we just luck on the first drive here, folks. Alright, folks, drive number one complete. Not two, one. <laughs> Can't count. Um, no bear, but um, pushed out a buck. Pretty decent sized one too from what it sounds like, so I think it's got something moving. So that was pretty cool. Um this is an ice awesome area. It cuts behind us and it cuts into this big ravine here. It goes down in there, so pretty nice setup. You can see way down there, get a far shot. We had a sitter up there in the gutter in case we had something push out and ran down it. A lot of deer sign in there, didn't see much air sign. It's right over here. See a nice um, buckle up over here. Looks like a fresh one too. Right there. I like it. So that's the first one. Just waiting for. The two bottom centers to swing up around here, meet me, and then we're gonna head up to the trail and go to drive number two. Um, it's the one last year. I don't know if I got it on video, but where I put the video up there, it's the one I had bear, steaming bear crap all around me and everything else. So stay tuned for the rest of day one. This is proof why you watch where you step in the woods. You'll take one of the nads. Occupational <laughs> hazard. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. <laughs>
Oh, fun times in the bear woods. Nothing better. <laughs> That's how it naturally came up. I actually saw Stop it, otherwise it I would have took it right That's what she said too. I would have took that straight in the nuts. I would have paid attention. <laughs> I didn't touch that's it at all. It's literally stopped right that's there. What I, that, that's what a state trooper says. It's like the too action where like, the blade gets to like, it almost hits your so, face. <laughs> that little finger there, mm -hmm. if you're looking for a different place to hunt, I'd put a tree stand in there. Because all, all the deer came, they had to come from either down across the road. How many was it? I saw six. Oh, so, really? Eric, did you? And so I saw really one walking in. Too. Well, the two guys that Brody said about right off the bat, they walked up to the top and walked out, so they might have pushed them down to you. These came all came from behind me, like up the pathway. Oh, okay. Like I had, I had one ten yard. I to bring trail mix to that. Behind the tree, and oh, those oh, all stayed well, either. either on top. Oh, of I had crumbs of trail mix. And there's what? All kinds of. Said I got like crumbs of the trail mix. Finger, and there's I'm gonna post Eric here. Right. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, we're gonna come across. I'm gonna have a driver here this way. Or do you just start have someone up there, then have someone skirt this, and then as soon as they hit that. Well, we need to try to. I think we need to try to stay tighter together. Okay. So Cause, three. Because like on that last one, I noticed you know Tori was up near the edge, and and Brody was just outside of it, which is okay. But if we can keep everybody a little bit tighter, if things are going back through us, so you, you know what I mean. Contour lines. How do you want me to do it? That's how. It, oh. Well, I um, guess it is this way, John. Well, if you're, if you're taking the lower one, that's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, if you're taking the lower one, come out in here somewhere, maybe around 2015, and just start heading towards that top corner. But, like, what contour line do you want me to start following that? Like, oh. where are you going to, like, when I drop people off, are you going to stay I, up? I'm just going to zigzag we'll all the way up in here. Between, like, the 1700 and somewhere around the 1700 line? Yeah, I, I figure we could just basically bring it like this. Okay. The contour lines are kind of running, like... So where are you having people sit? We have one here. Dad's gonna be here at the at the kind edge. Of near the end one of up the here at the corner, and one near that eighteen hundred, okay, give or take. That's it. So Eric's gonna be there. Yeah, because we want here about him shooting long range. There. Eric and Butcher, whoever else. It's three. That's the open hardwoods in there. You want anyone down here? It's blue, <laughs> dark blue. It's not blue. It is not. <laughs> I'll change it out then. I'm just what the I'm fuck just ever. It's You're the fine. same color as your I gun stock. Just, just, just do fine. me a favor and just hang back from the group in case these guys are over here and see you. <laughs> I take the orange. I'll fucking sure take it all. Your arms just run through the woods yelling, "Hey, boo boo!" Landis, you're fine. Landis, you're fine. We're just, Chill out. just run through the woods <laughs> yelling, hey boo boo. It's not like Banks up in Sullivan. He showed up with the meal one day and he had these black overall, Carhartt overalls on. No orange. And I'm no like, orange. I'm like, why don't you throw something no on orange. even though we're standing in the parking lot? Yeah, no orange at all. <laughs> that, was, that was the nice thing about there in Sullivan. We had a lunch truck come through. I need to get they an came orange out for They brought hot they're, lunch. They're expensive coffee. though. They That's it. why I do this. I'm even carrying the big one. <laughs> Those, those guys that walked by Brody, they're like, no gun. I said, no, I got a gun. And they're like, leaning against the tree. I said, no, it's right here. And they go, oh, I didn't even notice that. Why are you carrying a pistol? I said, I'm planning on doing some brush crawling. He should have said. He goes, I didn't know they made pistols big enough for bear. And I was like, here you go, bud. And he's like, oh, my God. <laughs> I handed him that, and he was like, you're going to shoot that out of my handgun? Yes, sir. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be We're going to give him the, we're gonna give the honest you, try. Why do you have both? Huh? Why do you have both? So I can hand somebody a 460 show when they question me, <laughs> since everybody questions it. Has been spotted. Drive number two started. Baby Yoda's up there. If you can see her. She doesn't want to wait for the camera. What about my beaver? She's about 25 yards from me. No, she's probably about 30. 40. I can't judge. <laughs> and how far is she from you? 50 maybe. 10 4. I'm about 40 yards from her, and I'm about 40 yards from Needle, too, so I think we should be good.
if we're going to be this close together, we might just push it straight out. Um, we'll just have to see how we go. We'll call it if we need to. But you guys want to break or are you ready? Roll on highway. Copy that. Okay. Uh, I'm moving out. Let's go. I don't know. You can see the claw marks there. Going through that thick clut where the bear was last year. There's the claw marks. Say how thick it is. Baby Yoda is up there about 20 yards from me. And you can't see her. Needle's down there about 20 yards from me. And you can't see him. That's what we got to go through. I'm not sure how bear get through this, but they do. So, I'm getting yelled at. I better get moving. Baby Yoda's over in there. I can see her without the camera. There she is. That's about 15 yards. Alright, bear crap sighting. Here's the game trail. This is the bedding. I'm standing in it. Not a fresh, a recently used bed. Pretty decent size too. It's probably about five foot around. Needles over there. They said baby Yoda just found bear crap up in there. She's thick. Thinking I should have left the gun at the truck for this drive. Um, nothing out of this second drive. About quarter after one right now. Doing something a little crazy. So, heading to wear black cloud drive was better last year. Um, we closed off the access road. You can't get there easy. So, Well, the crazy part is we hiked up over the mountain down the back side, two miles from the truck. And no easy way to get back except for going out back up over the top of the mountain and back down the other side. So, hoping this one pays off like it did last year. It's such a good sign walking here. So there's about a half a mile to get to start of the drive. Fingers are up there walking across the steeps. We're walking down to the bottom where we started that drive. So last year was like a mile walk. This year it's two miles up a mountain and down a mountain. Fifteen miles both ways, isn't that what your grandpa used to say? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we get the same feeling we had last year on this drive. We thought this one was going to be it. So, crossing our fingers, saying prayers, saying a blessing to Coyote Kid, and hoping this is a drive so I don't get to crack at one. Pulling for the sitters on this one. So, do catch up with you down here to start the drive. Well, folks, no bear. Probably. Between 30 to 40 deer out of that drive, and that cut's not that wide, and I, it's long, but not the longest one I've ever done, but it's a damn lot of deer. And you can see the, I belly goaded first. Got the next bunch down here coming. So, I watched them try to belly goat. Deer came up through here, the one herd of 20. So, a lot of sign in there. It was looking good again this year, but no bear coming out. Everyone happy? Nope. Ready to go on another drive? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> drive, drive back, back home. home. <laughs> to the steering wheel. Cold beer and bourbon? Yep, I'm going to skip the beer and go right to the bourbon. <laughs> good hot meal. Hey, at least we get to eat better today. <laughs> oh, my. Part of the payback. What? Bear stew. Yeah, bear stew with the noodles. So, 
I think we're gonna head on out. Catch you back at camp. You need more water? Oh. I'm telling you, Bernie, <laughs> back in our day, very good at that. Uh, back in our day, we, we, had a we, had a, we had a fish fry after Nate shot his bear Just on Sunday because we couldn't hunt. So we, so we cooked <laughs> all kinds of neat meals. Nate left his camera out, so we had fun with Nate's camera. And then we just relaxed and then, and then went hard again Monday. But, it, but what I'm glad that, that the state legislator allowed us to do is have young people like you come up here and hunt on Sundays with us. And that gives you... Those that voted for it. Right. That gives Sam and no. you and every, every one of us a chance to go out and hunt with you guys <laughs> an extra day and you don't have to take off school and you can still get a good education. Well, that took off Your Friday. camera's on, right? Yeah. <laughs> I broke whoever's thing. He's the one saying this one Sunday hunting. He's a fucking pencil ducky. Thanks, I broke. There's the final concoction mixed all up. Green beans, brisket. This top. Brisket. How you like your bread and tie in? Everybody got theirs? There. I don't know if he's doing one. Here's Alanis' mom. Is that, is, that, is that good? I'm not drinking that. Just dried Bedford. Man, why do you want to drive an hour, walk two hours, do a 30 minute drive? Because this is how we kill play. We learned for next year. Yeah. How did you get your eight point last year? Well, two two hours. Up and I shot it. <laughs> and he rolled the window back up. <laughs> <laughs> we went back to bed. How you? That's me. <laughs> well, you need to poop or you're grumpy. No. It's just on some of the bug spray. Yeah. Hey. Day number two. Yeah, good one. Trying a new area on game lands. Lost the butcher. Stepping Someone had to go to work. It's probably still from yesterday. I didn't rub it off. The other one. Oh my god. <laughs> Wolfman's loading up the old 44 Man, lever. Take a Henry. shot of this. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the second day in a row. Where'd you step in at? That looks like dog shit. <laughs> sure it's not cow shit? <laughs> I don't know. Did a cow get loose back there? <laughs> I was yeah, saying, is that legal? Say if you that, see an Angus that. running through the woods, can you shoot it and say you thought it was a bear? <laughs> no. There's a phantom shooter running right around. Right here. The right there. It's dog poop. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Where? Right here. Smelling that all the way through. <laughs> Atlantis. Come over here, look. Get out of here. <laughs> Joy's a bear camp. An old farm here on the game lands. Barn's still standing. Looks like the game commission might use it to store some stuff. Put these whole fields. They look pretty good for. Dove hunting. Doubt the pheasants back here. So, pretty cool. Awesome to see. Bad cameraman here. We're gonna start the video before the drive. Just to remember it through it. Um, there we go, that's what I wanna see. Alright. There. Bear poop. Oh, found these cuts from 2011, just a new area, our game lands we've never been to before, that black cloud and um, Wolfman looked at back in archery. Had some 
pretty promising sign. Um, there's four of us driving, three sitters, trying to push it downhill, then uphill across the creek at the bottom. Trying to get stuff moving. Um, I know I got some ticks moving. <laughs> I found a couple red lines, so that's pretty sweet. So I got a good deer sign, so we're definitely coming back at rifle season most likely. Um, but So this will be drive number five of the weekend. Um, we don't do them small, we do them big. Go big or go home, that's what I was always told. So. Um, yeah, we're going to move on out here, roll some smoke, and hopefully get a big one out of here. Hey, wish us luck. Looks like a old house foundation back here in the game land. You guys see this foundation down here? Are you standing next to me? Old house foundation it looks like. It's pretty sweet. Didn't produce anything out of that drive, but um, promising. Some of the fresh bear poop, claw marks, trails, beds. It's all there. Water, food. Just nothing. No end of mouths. The chipmunks. So. Catch up the crew up here. Um, we want to head back to camp. They're supposed to call for some nasty wintery mix and stuff coming in. A couple guys want to get home before it gets dark, so um, a few hunters going home. So we we'll group here and figure out what's going on. Check the ticks. You got look. You got. You got. Do I have any? Yeah, right there. You got three white ones. <laughs> Oh, now you're actually walking on it. There's some down here behind you. What? Ooh, watch that barbed wire. There's another hole in his boot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's pretty. I'm surprised they don't have this fenced off, Josh. They did at one time. This is why. Yeah, there's fence here. I know. I'm like, like now. Like keeping it up, yeah. There's tiny little rocks sticking up up here. I'm, I'm wondering if. What's that say? Can you read it? John winter. No, I'm not. But the year. Oh uh, no, I can't. There's nothing left of it. The graves. I mean, the remains. Why? I just say, would you dig it up? 1823. There ain't nothing. Um, taking a little break from hunting this morning, making a good um, Pencil Tucky Adventure Special Friday. Um, we're going to go back to where we did that bear hunt yesterday with that stone foundation. We um, found a good crop of pheasants in the area. So we're going to, me and Black Cloud, we purchased our pheasant tags last night. And we're going to go head over there and pheasant hunt this morning. Um, took a little bear hunt. Knowing our luck, we'll see a bear this morning, obviously. Like things typically grow, right? So, um, got the bacon and the sausage inside. And today it's just me and Black Cloud hunting. Everyone else went home. We've got today and tomorrow. And we'll see how things go. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna finish up this wonderful breakfast, head inside, eat it, and catching the pheasant fields.
here on reaping our rewards of our hunt this morning. We got black cloud here. I, I breasted the one out. I'm gonna get since it's my first pheasant ever. Uh, I'm gonna get the one mounted. So um, Wolfman got Kite Kid mounted. Wolfman's first one, so I'm gonna get my first one mounted. Um, so pretty sweet. And then we're just breasting it out. Got mine done there. Black Cloud is breasting his out. Took Art mine a little longer. I had to be gentle. So I want to save some of the feathers for the other one just in case because I murdered him. <laughs> <laughs> murdered his ass. Just, just do the whole thing and then you can roast it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can make pheasant soup next year, pheasant corn soup instead of chicken corn soup for deer camp. I probably would taste dandy. Pheasant pot pie is pretty good. I've had that too. Pot pie. You got your dark meat stand there. I gotta put a glove on. It's not too bad with your hands stuck in a warm bird. So you're going a little wild, right? I hope you may. He might chop my finger off. <laughs> yeah, I might. Top of the morning to you, folks. Down here, at black clouds. Um, just a little slower yesterday. So I hope you all enjoyed our little pheasant hunt. That was pretty awesome. Got my first pheasants. I'm gonna get the one mounted, breasted out the other one. Black clouds down here making me breakfast. What's going on? He looks excited. Real excited to go out and hunt this morning, right? Oh, yeah. It's so. a perfect frosty morning. Yeah, it's beautiful out there. I heard they got snow up north this morning. Did they? Yeah. Sweet. Someone posted on the one Facebook group, said that um, there's going to be a lot of people calling in sick today to go bear hunting because there's snow on the ground. So we're going to uh, check out some new areas today that we've never been to before. Actually, I don't know if I got this on video the other night or not, but... That's um, Black Cloud's bear from last year, her mount, actually. How much of that is your Grand Slam? The buck and the bear and that it? That turkey over there is not part of it, right? The turkey, the antlers underneath of the bear and the bear. Okay. And then the gobbler, the spring gobbler is going to go up to the left. There you go, nice. Full mount for the spring gobbler. So, awesome mount. So, well, I'll catch you on the road and eat breakfast and head on out. Game Commission's going to check out the local game lands. <laughs> side of that cliff. Is that a little black spot? That's where he is. Touch me, turn me on, and to bring me down or burn me down? Driving into the sun. Turn me off and then burn me down. Burn me down. There it is. It's a good hunt spot back there. I ain't going down there to get my No. Uh, we're going to have to drag that pair the whole way down to the main road because it's not coming back up that hill. Especially with two of us. 
Remember that? Oh, uh, turn a bear camp into a pheasant hunt. Pheasant camp. Just a side note, pheasants are easier to carry out of the woods than a bear, so um, we're lazy and sore because we did all the work this week and uh, none of the other, what, six or eight guys we had along did anything. So um, we just, you know, had to pick up the slack for everybody. Now we get to have fun. Now we get to have fun, <laughs> that's right. Welcome to public land. Everybody can go where we can go, so it's all got to be okay. The gate's open, so we can keep driving. That's a good thing. Yep, until February 1st. 2022. Yeah. You know what my favorite thing is to see on a game lens? A mirror. It's always my favorite thing to see. <laughs> I haven't found birds yet, but damn, that's a view. Holy crap. It's kind of up here. Probably windy as crap on the... Microphone there. A lot different than the pheasant hunt we did yesterday. Want to throw over in that tall grass. Getting out of the wind. It's a hell of a field. <laughs> We'll just pick little patches like from that from that little sapling over to there. We'll just stomp through it real nice and slow. Yeah, this stuff looks like it's shorter than yesterday. I might be able to see it over top. <laughs> there's a field up that way. The other side of the trees. Yeah, they might be in them pine trees too, being as windy as it is. folks um i'm on my way home from bear camp 2021 sorry i ended the video there got a little choppy and but not much going on well um, monday or tuesday yeah monday night for left we had leftovers tuesday night we had leftovers so i want any fancy meals to show you all so didn't want to bore you with leftovers obviously um but i'm on my way home from camp right now for thanksgiving gonna go home here um my mom and my grandma are coming up to my house tomorrow. I'm gonna make a turkey for them tomorrow and a couple sides. So no pies, because I'm not a pie baker. I'll have to go buy one if they want a pie. Um, but so I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, no bears this year, but a lot of good sign as usual. We had a lot of fun. It was exciting. A little depressing here and there. A little emotional. Um, Especially since Coyote Kid wasn't with us, um, the one thing that was emotional for me is you saw my first ever turkey hunt, or sorry, pheasant hunt, pheasant kill, and um, it's uh, my first successful hunt since he passed away, so it was a little emotional for me, 
but he was there with me. I carry a little bullet with his ashes in it. it has his call name on it, Coyote Kid. So, always carry him with me. So, I'm on, like gonna drop that pheasant off. My dad used to always get them mounted, so I'm gonna get mine done to taxidermist as well, as I told you earlier. So, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the show. And here's a little, I'm gonna put that memorial in here for Coyote Kid so you can all see it's about a six minute video. Um, just two songs that remind me of him, remind us all of him. So, hope you all like it. And I'll catch you on Friday morning for Deer Camp 2021. Catch y'all later. Bye. From West by God, Virginia, to the woods of Ohio, our family's outdoor roots grow strong right down to our soul. Live it up, we pass it down Respect the land, we stand our ground To carry on this grand tradition That's why we choose the outdoor option From that first bite to that last catch Right at first light or the sun sinking fast It's that big deer underneath my stand The smell of autumn on the wind You here with me beats a high score Making memories is what we live for time with family and with friends is where the outdoor option starts and ends. We live it up and we pass it down. Respect the land, we stand our ground to carry on this grand tradition. That's why we choose the outdoor option. Remember the first buck you ever saw And who was with you when you caught that first fish My guess is if you could go back I wouldn't be too far off track To say that just might be your final wish We all have our memories That seem to linger on the breeze Calling to us like a long lost friend so don't let more time pass you by Get your family back outside And choose the outdoor option once again Live it up and pass it down Respect the land, stand your ground Carry on this grand tradition Let's all choose the outdoor option yeah, we live it up and we pass it down Respect the land, we stand our ground Carry on this grand tradition That's why we choose the outdoor option Grandpa's stories of days gone by While sitting around a warm campfire Knowing someday he'll be gone But the outdoor option will live on Like the sound when the day breaks Me and daddy in the woods on a Saturday You see his granddaddy hunted these hills And I hope someday that my kids will He said do me a favor before I'm gone Love this land and pass it on Pass it on 
He showed me how to cast a line Where the whitetail live and how to read their sign He laid my gun up against a tree So he could hold a barbed wire fence for me Yeah, I learned a lot from watching his ways Like how to hunt smart and how to be safe He said, one of these days, son, you'll be grown Remember what I taught you and pass it on Pass it on in the name of conservation Pass it on to another generation Turned 21, my dad walked in with an old shotgun He said, this belonged to your grandpa It's yours now, son So I handle it with love And pass it on Like the sound when the day breaks Me and my boy in the woods on a Saturday Pass it on